A new week here on the Power 5. We enter Monday on a really strong 75-48-4 run with all selections here on the show. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. Of course, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts you have on my individual plays for tonight. I've got four in Major League Baseball for you and a player prop for Monday Night Football. Different player prop than we gave out on the morning wager, by the way, Mark Zeno and I. All right, let's get it started here. The Power Five, Phillies Brewers under eight. This is a really key series between division leaders in the National League. Phillies took two of three from the Mets over the weekend. They now have a four-game cushion over the Brew Crew for home field advantage of the playoffs. They're also two games up on the Dodgers. Uh, winning this series would go a long main a long way, pardon me, in maintaining that top spot for the Phils. Runs should probably be scarce, though, in this series opener. Now, it would appear if the starting pitching matchup here favors Milwaukee. Savale, 4-0, 2.67 ERA, his last six starts, while Suarez, 2-5, with a 5.30 ERA, his last seven starts. But Suarez has been better on the road, going back to last season. ERA on the road, nearly two full points lower than it is at home during that time. Uh, he also has a 3.09 FIP this season, does Suarez. I don't see either bullpen giving up much here. That's another key, so let's play the under. Should be a lot different for Millie Waukee's last series with Arizona. Phils don't score as many runs on the road, guys, as they do at home, although that certainly doesn't disqualify the road team from winning on Monday. Number two, St. Louis plus 120 versus Pittsburgh. Again, I think the odds makers are overvaluing Paul Skeens, who is obviously starting for the Pirates tonight. The public always jumps on the Pirates, really. It's the only time the public jumps on the Pirates uh, when Skeen, it, Skeens is starting. I just don't think the Bucks deserve to be in this price range as a road favorite, even with their rookie phenom on the mound. This is a team, guys, with a bad bullpen, 27th in ERA, and a lineup that is tied for second to last in WRC Plus against right-handed pitching. Tonight, Pittsburgh faces a righty in Andre Pallante, who, as I mentioned before previously on this show, has an outstanding ground ball rate. This, though, is just all about the price for me. St. Louis should not be a home dog to an inferior team, even with Skeens on the mound for that opposing team. Remember, the Pirates may want to manage Skeens' workload, not let him go deep into this game. This is also the Cardinals' third time seeing him uh, this season. All right, play number three, D-backs Rockies over 11. This game should feature plenty of scoring. Uh, Arizona's taken its league-leading offense in the most hitter-friendly park in the league. They've scored double-digit runs three of their last six games, six or more, five of the last six. Tonight, D-backs go against Antonio Sensatella, who has not started a big league game since May of last year. The Rockies also have the worst bullpen in all of MLB. So, should not be a problem for the road team with nine at-bats to put up a crooked number. As for Colorado, we know the deal. At home, they're one of the highest-scoring teams in baseball. On the road, they're one of the lowest-scoring teams in baseball. Uh, in fact, only Arizona averages more runs per game at home than do the Rockies. Uh, oh, by the way, the D-backs are also number one in MLB in runs scored on the road. Colorado, I think, is good for at least five runs, which is their season average at home. That should be enough to get this one over. By the way, d back starter Merrill Kelly, 6.26 ERA his last five starts. So runs should be plentiful in that NL West matchup. Number four, and this is our final MLB look for Monday. It's another total under eight A's Cubs. Shota Imanaga. On the hill for the Cubbies. Talking about great starters. Oakland will be his 24th different opponent this season. I have harped on the fact all year that opposing hitters really seem to struggle their first time going up against Imanaga, who continues to be in tremendous form. 4-0, uh, oh, pardon me, with a 2.67 ERA his last four starts. He's gone at least seven innings each of the last two. Now, of those, uh, all of those last four Imanaga starts have gone over the total, but that's because he's been getting tremendous run support. The Cubs have actually scored 39 runs in Imanaga's last four starts. Wow. But I don't think that's going to be the case again here because Joey Estes of the A's has been a good starter. The A's have a tremendous bullpen as well. Plus, the Cubs typically don't score as many runs at the friendly confines as they do on the road. They're the inverse of the Rockies. In fact, the Cubs score more than a full run less per game at home than they do on the road. They're number three in runs per game on the road, but just 25th at home. Estes, he's turning back-to-back -back quality starts on the road. So under eight A's Cubs, it is. Okay, I'm going to get to Monday Night Football in just a moment, guys. But first, I wanted to brag. It was a 3-0 NFL sweep on Sunday for yours truly. Brought off the broom. Hit the best bet on the Commander's money line. Thank you, seven field goals. 
Also cashed the Packers plus three. They won outright. And my teaser bet with the Browns and Broncos was a winner as well. Thank you, Sean Payton, for that late, late field goal. Uh, it's now a great 6-2 and two start to the NFL regular season. Also, going back to last season, I'm on a 27-13 and 13 run in college football. Includes 8-5 and five this season. So head on over to wt.buzz slash bp right now where you can save $100 off a NFL and college football combo season package. Just be sure to use coupon code FBALL100. That's F-B-A-L-L-100 at checkout. We're going to continue to roll moving forward. So hop on board for a full season. If you don't want to lock in long term, you can always get on board today for just $29. I'm going to have a play on Monday Night Football. Uh, I'm playing the side, and I've got a baseball side as well. All right, we're going to close out the Power 5 with a prop for Monday Night Football. Ray Ray McLeod over two and a half receptions is heavily juiced, but I would still take it at two and a half. Look, McLeod had four catches on seven targets in the opener. Those seven targets were a team high for the Falcons. Uh, therefore, I just don't think needing three catches is tonight is a big ask. Kirk Cousins, 36 years old, still recovering from Achilles, an Achilles injury. He wants to get the ball out quick. And that means he's going to look for a slot receiver. So over two and a half receptions for Ray Ray McLeod. It is. That's all I got to say about that. Let's recap the Power 5 for today, shall we? Number one, Phillies Brewers under eight. Number two, Cardinals plus 120 in the money line against the Pirates. Number three, D-backs Rockies over 11. Number four, A's Cubs under eight. And number five, Ray Ray McLeod of the Falcons over two and a half receptions. Again, feel free to let me know what you think of those plays by commenting down below. I always appreciate the feedback, positive, negative, or just uh, if you wanted to say hi or leave your favorite bets here for Monday. I love seeing it all. Don't forget to head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of that special offer I mentioned earlier. Again, I'll have a play on Monday Night Football. I'll have a Major League Baseball play as well, two for one for $29. Also remember to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done that course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily here, you can't forget about the morning wager, which I mentioned earlier, me and Mark Zeno back together again on Monday. So that's going to do it for the Monday edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you already haven't done that. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.